even with Lisbon being rainy, it's nice to be here. Sort of looks like Portugal, or correction, doesn't look like Portugal because we are in Portugal. It looks like um, a bit like Prague, but much, much hillier. But not deep hills, just small little hills popping around. Some stonework for their sidewalk. It's the first thing I noticed waking up this morning and walking along the streets here. And I sort of question myself, is this a, what type of stonework is it? Is it something that is very common and easy to get here? Craftsmanship is nothing really special. You can see lots of spaces between the, the stones and moss and grass and all sorts of things growing between it. But it definitely, this is the character of the city. This type of sidewalk. One of the first things I'm trying to find here is actually the trolley lines. And I'm not trying to use maps or anything to find it. I'm just seeing if I can wander through the streets and then bump into it. So first time in a market in Portugal and the struggle, look for milk. I don't know what this is, it's not milk, but I'm getting it. I'm gonna try it out, figure out what it is. Well, for obvious reasons, wine is much cheaper here than it is in um, Denmark. My goal, maybe find the cheapest wine and see how bad it is. So this is the cheap wine I got. It's, I've, this is cheap. I mean, 39 euros for this. Reminds me of actually the Japanese um, cheap sake you could get at the 7-Elevens. One of the first questions I have when traveling to a new location is who has the right of way when you cross the wall? The car or the people? And I've heard in Portugal the driver is a bit more crazier than the rest of Europe. So I'm assuming, I was assuming that the cars have the right of way, but I'm finding out they actually stop here for you. Ah, there's a trolley. So cute. sun's popped out. Wow, I love it. Another discovery. 